All right. So good morning. Uh, over the next month, I'm going to be doing a tech a day type thing every day uh, because I think, you know, while we have this time on our hands, we can learn something new every day and make ourselves better engineers. Um, be sure to put your comments about what I'm talking about on the day in the comments or, and I would need your help on this because I really don't have enough topics for all of these days. Any ideas you have about topics, they could just be your own pet projects or whatever, I don't care. Just put them in the comments or at Jahermi on Twitter, DM me, and uh, and I'm not, not guaranteeing that it'll go up here, but you know, it might spur on something else and I, all, I really appreciate it. So today's topic is Redwood JS. It's kind of a Railsy sort of thing. It's based on React and GraphQL and Jamstack. I'll do a little bit of a code thing on it so you can get started with it and then just, you know, try it out. I think it's it's really pretty cool. All right. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. All right. So I'm going to start off with a home page here. And let's go into the tutorial, which is actually really cool and well written. All right. Uh, I think we match all those prerequisites. So I'm just going to jump ahead to doing the yarn create. And we'll go and build that out. Fast forward that for you so you can see. And now we'll go into the code and we'll just take a look around. So you got your API, you got your components and all that sort of fun stuff, that's great. All right, so now we're gonna run it and now we're gonna build out our first page. Super cool. All right, make a quick change to that page. All right. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to jump forward to the data stuff because I think that's really interesting as well. So we will go and follow the migrations part of the tutorial here. Go and add ourselves a schema and then update the database, create migrations. And this is kind of why I say it's like a Rails thing. This kind of reminds me of Rails. And especially this, this part with the scaffolding and all that, that's pretty cool. And now I've got ourselves a post page. Cool. So let's go create that post, a post, anything, that's fine. And let's go over and take a look at it in GraphQL. And that's really cool, right? Come on. And one more thing I want to talk about was the cells stuff. Uh, this is basically creating a React kind of component. It, uh, if you, as long as you have GraphQL, then it's going to go into this lifecycle, and that lifecycle automatically gives you like loading states and success states and all that. So it, that's really pretty cool. All right, guys, uh, I hope this gets you excited about it, and I will see you tomorrow.